Hey riders and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is going to be on how I doubled my racing fitness with 50% less training. Um, so for those of you that are new to the channel, uh, my name is Andrew Hammer. Um, I've worked with hundreds of riders and racers from around the world to get them race fit and race ready. Um, so one of the problems that I had when I was racing is I relied a lot on, on training volume. Okay, when I wasn't fit enough, which was for the majority of my riding and racing, my thought process was I'm not doing enough. I just need to do more, okay? So, like what my training would look like, and obviously I did 14 seasons of racing, so my training changed and I did different forms of training over that time. But some of the training that I did, I did, like there was a five year period there where I did club level swim. So I was doing swimming with club level swimmers. Um, we do that for about an hour, um, three or four nights a week. And then there was a period of time there where we had, it, I talked about in the previous video, uh, we had a new coach uh, which actually trained or coached uh, one of the girls in the, I think it was the Commonwealth Games, I saw him on TV. Um, he, was, he wanted to lift the standard of the swimming that we were doing. So he would get us out for half an hour beforehand, uh, before the session, to go and do some body weight stuff and do some sprints and do some running and, um, and do some extra work. Uh, which was great on his part um, to be able to help the swimmers, but the the so we're doing a heap of training, right? We're doing three or four sessions a week. They're doing they're going for an hour, hour and a half. Um, I used to do extra training at home as well, so I do some weights in the morning. So my dad set me up with a weight bar. I just had this weight bar that you got from Kmart that used an Allen key and you stuck it all together, um, and that would be in a, one of the rooms in the house. So I'd get up in the morning before um, school, before when, we, when I was working and do different weights. And I try and replicate what was happening on the bike. So I do these uh, reverse curls with my hands over the top and try and lift up to my body um, with the weight bar. Cause I was like, oh, dad said, okay, well that's gonna resemble how you're moving on the bike. So that was great. So I'd, um, I'd do that. Now uh, I did that for a period of time. There was a couple of years there where I did a lot of spin classes. So four, three, four nights a week, go and do spin classes, uh, go to the gym. It was the, I think it was Les Mills RPM sessions which I still run now um, and I'd go and do them three or four times a week and they'd, uh, they'd go for 45 minutes or an hour and then once I'd done that then I'd go and do some leg extension exercises on the leg extension machine because I used to get sore legs. Um, other periods of time I used to do body weight training. I had sponsorship from a chiropractor um, and the chiropractor paid for this eight, so I think it was an eight week or a 12 week program that I did at a gym um, and we did a whole heap of weights work and running. To be honest the training was quite hard but probably not the, not the training that I needed for my riding and racing. So we did a lot of isolation work and a lot of machine work. And then on the weekends, um, we'd go down to the beach and we'd do some sprints um, along the beach. We'd go for different runs uh, on the water uh, to help to build fitness as well. And so I think that was just twice a week. But still even with, with that, I still didn't have the fitness that I needed on the bike. And so again, my mindset was just, I need to do more. I've got to try and train more. I've got to do more sessions do more weights in the morning, do more cardio work, do longer sessions, push myself harder at these sessions. I never, uh, there was a lot of internal frustration because I knew I knew what I needed to get better. I knew fitness was the, the component that I needed, but I didn't know how to train. I didn't know what to do to actually build my fitness on the bike. I knew how to build my fitness in the, in the gym or with specific exercises because I've been doing that for ages. I knew how to get better at swimming, but how did I actually, how do I actually prove things to get better on the bike? So, when I started strength and conditioning training, so I, I stumbled across weight training accidentally. So I had a friend that went uh, to the same school as me and he just started racing, it's just coincidence that he caught the same bus um, and we started, uh, he was started riding and started racing anyway. Uh, I was always looking for better ways to train because I'd like, I'd go on the, I think it was the virtual, virtual trainer or virtual X website that had like lots of different rowing workouts and stuff that you could do to build race fitness and go on those websites and I quite, I always enjoyed fitness um, and always wanted to find out more. So anyway, he was saying, oh, like I've been doing these workouts at this uh, place and they're really hard and I think they'd be good for racing. I was like, okay, whatever. So anyway, he ended up dragging me down for one of these sessions. And I remember first walking in, in there and there was all these guys which were much older than me, uh, would have been, I don't know, four, around 35, 40 years old and lifting these heavy weights overhead. They had the big bumper plates on there. So for the guys that train, obviously the bumper plates look a bit bigger, uh, much bigger than the steel plates, but I didn't know the difference. I was just like, fuck, like this is, these are some big weights that these guys are moving. 
So the first thing I remember going through my head, I was like, I can't do this training. I was like, I'm going to get too big and I'm going to start getting arm pump on the bike. And this is the worst thing I can do for helping me on the bike. And that's the reason I was going there. And so I started training there and I actually started to enjoy the training. Okay, I never really enjoyed my training up until that point. The only reason I trained is because it helped me on the bike. If I didn't have the bike, I probably wouldn't have trained. But this was the first time I'd actually gone to training and actually started to enjoy the training. I found I enjoyed lifting weights um, and I started to get reasonably good at it. So I stuck with the training, not because it was helping me with the riding. The reason I stuck with the training is because I actually started to enjoy the training for the first time. And that's why I stuck with it. So in the meantime, I still wanted to improve my riding and racing, but I just found this training that I love. So I kept doing the training and um, enjoyed the, the people there that were at the gym and enjoyed the exercises and, and lifting the weights and learning about lifting weights. And so a funny thing happened is as I was doing that, I started to gain a little bit of weight and put on a bit of muscle mass and lose a little bit of body fat because I was quite skinny at the time. I was 68 kilos um, and I'm six foot two. So very, very light. And I started to put on a bit of weight and get up to the, like the 70 mark and then the seven, around the 75 kilo mark. And people were noticing at the gym, they were saying, oh, look at you, you're getting stronger, like you're lifting more weights, you're looking like you're you know, filling out your t-shirt a little bit more and all those sorts of things, which is great. Um, but the thing that I didn't expect is I remember having this race at Wanneroo and we're racing at Wanneroo at AJS. Now this track is a very, very sandy track. It's where they've had the nationals for the Pro MX or for the MX nationals. This track gets very, very rough. And I remember racing there, going to a specific race and I rocked up to this race. It was on my 250F on my uh, RMZ. And I remember racing there and I remember going, shit, I was getting to the end of the race and I was going, shit, I do not feel absolutely flogged. This is the first time I've come in from a race and not felt like I've just been, abs had the shit absolutely flogged out of me for the last 10, 15, 20 minutes, how long, however long we're racing for. And I actually felt like I could race, ride the bike. Like for the first time, I felt like I could get out there and ride and I could throw the bike around and I could lift the front wheel up over certain sections, okay? Or I could bunny hop off braking bumps. Whereas up until that point, it was all just survival. It was like, okay, I've got to try and get through this race, get to the checkered flag. The whole thing for me was just get to the checkered flag. That was the whole the whole goal. Whereas now, or well then, my, my focus could shift to, all right, I can actually start to race these races now. Like I can actually start to muscle this bike around because I've got the strength there and I've got the fitness and the, the power in my body. I feel confident. Um, and so the funny thing was though, at that time, when I started at this particular gym, I cut my training back to only two sessions a week. I was only training on a Tuesday and a Thursday. So I was doing two of these strength and conditioning training sessions on a Tuesday and a Thursday, and I wasn't doing any of the other stuff anymore. I wasn't doing any of the swimming, wasn't doing any of the RPM sessions, wasn't doing the weights at home because I was doing the weights at the gym. And so I was like, well, this is, this is strange. This is like 2000, 2010 maybe. And I'm like, this is, this is strange. This is weird. Like I'm doing the less training than what I've ever done. I look better than I've ever looked body composition wise. And I'm also riding better than I've ever ridden in terms of fitness. And I'm able to get through these races easier than I've ever done over the whole 14 years of racing that I've done. And I'm doing 50% less work. Like I was going from doing three or four sessions a week plus all the other little bits and pieces to just doing those two one hour sessions a week. So, the, the thing that I'm really getting to here is that volume is not always the problem, okay? I always thought volume was the problem. I always thought I needed to be doing more training. But it turns out that I needed to be doing a lot less training. It's just that I needed to be doing the right stuff. And the problem was when I was doing the wrong stuff is if you do more of the wrong stuff, you're not really going to get any better because you're still doing the wrong thing. Um, so what I needed to do is focus on doing the right stuff, which is lifting the heavy weights, okay, which was doing the interval workouts, which was making my workouts more intense rather than making them longer. But because I didn't know that, I was just always barking up the wrong tree. The whole 14 years, I was trying to do things and, and follow things that people had told me or things that I heard that either weren't true or weren't effective or may have been effective, okay, back in the 90s or back in the 80s, but weren't effective now with training um, and with the type of writing that we do. So, that's really what I wanted to share with you is that it's not always about the volume of training, okay? You have to be doing the right stuff. And obviously there's a mix. You have to be doing a certain amount of training to get better, 
But if you, you think that you have to be training four nights a week, five nights a week, six nights a week, twice a day, or you know, doing hour and a half sessions all the time, um, you just don't have the right approach. Okay, you should be able to do three training sessions a week and have more than enough riding and racing fitness to be able to perform well on the bike. And if you, you feel like you have to do more than that or you're having to do more than that at the moment, you just, your strategy is not as good as what it needs to be, as, well, as what it could be. You could be saving yourself a lot of time and spending that time with your family or riding the bike or working on your skills and doing other stuff rather than continuing to slog it out with your training. Um, so hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, if you'd like some help with this stuff and you want to cut your training down to three days a week and be able to make sure you're doing the right stuff and get better results on the, the bike like I was able to with my racing, um, you can apply to work with me in our Faster Laps program. Um, you can either click the link up here or down the, the bottom in the description or in the comments. Uh, ask a couple of quick questions about what you're working towards and then we'll go from there. Um, but otherwise, hopefully you enjoyed the video and look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. See ya.